Shalom. Shalom. Good evening, everyone. And I wanted to extend this Shalom uh, greeting to all our friends here in Biglerville, Pennsylvania. And we are celebrating Yeshua HaMashiach right here at the Jesus is Lord International Ministries. And we just wanted to extend this great Shalom greeting to everyone out there in all the world and all Israel and Ishmael and the nations. And it's really exciting uh, to be here. And I just wanted to, uh, first of all, give thanks to Dr. and Pastor Michael Yeager. Uh, Yeager, pardon. And, uh, and how he has just welcomed me and my friends, Elizabeth Ritz, who spoke earlier this afternoon at 2 p.m. And he has just opened up uh, his heart to welcome us to share the message of Yeshua's great love for us all. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I would first like to, if I may, uh, start out with a special uh, declaration prayer of thanksgiving uh, to the king of the universe. Hallelujah. We thank you, the king of glory, the king of the universe, the God of love. We just want to celebrate you at this time and always but especially right now, we just want to uphold you and give you praise and glory for your awesome love, your eternal love for each and every soul on planet Earth. And Lord, I ask that you just speak your heart of love to all of your family all of humanity whom you've created for your glory and for your honor now and forevermore. In the name of our precious Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, the Messiah of the world. Amen. Yes, I have so many wonderful things to share. <laughs> and first of all, I'd love to share with you that God has uh, a very uh, special message, um, a very unique message uh, in that I will share with you. And uh, he's created me uh, to love action adventure, if you can relate to that feeling. <laughs> and uh, so he has given me such an amazing real life story of how he has just spoken so deeply into my heart of his love, uh, not just for me personally, but for uh, my family and uh, for all of Israel and all of Ishmael and all of the nations, his heart's cry of love for all of his people who he has created for his glory. And so I would like to, first of all, share a very special Scripture in Psalm 8. And actually, I'd like to uh, declare this wonderful word. Okay, I would like to declare all of Psalm 8 uh, to everyone. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou 
has made him a little lower than the angels and has crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands, and thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Thank you, Yeshua. As a matter of fact, I would like to focus in on verse 5 once again. For thou has made him, thou has made us, let's personalize that, a little lower than the angels. And actually, from what I understand, the Hebrew in my studies, that that actually is, does not mean lower than angels, but rather lower than Elohim, our creator God, in Hebrew, and has crowned us with glory and honor. And as a matter of fact, this is such a powerful promise that he has ordained and established for every soul on planet earth that he has crowned us. He has actually clothed us. He has, and from uh, my revelation that God has given to me, he has saturated us in his glory. That means his, in Hebrew, is Shekhinah Kavod. His manifest divine glory presence that he has actually created us to be so filled, so full of the I am who I am, so filled and full and overflowing with fullness of the Godhead, the King of glory himself. I know this is going to take us, I believe, eternity to understand the reality that God, his plan from the beginning of time is that we are filled with him. And we know that since the beginning of time, this was his eternal plan when he created man, that God had literally breathed his very holy breath, his very resurrection life and presence into us. And this was his eternal plan that we live and and see him face to face and to interact with him as our beloved Abba Father, Daddy God. And because of humanity's enemy, the same enemy that we have today, who is Satan, the father of lies who deceived Eve and Adam, he is the very same enemy that wants to deceive mankind and continues to deceive mankind. But I believe because we here have been given this amazing revelation of our divine heritage, our inheritance in the Messiah Yeshua, in Hamashiach Yeshua, that we can stand in the gap, right? Isn't that awesome that here we are, we have been given the greatest honor, the greatest gift of all to be, to be reconciled once again with Father God in our Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lamb who was slain from the foundation of the world 
And as a matter of fact, I would like to refer to that special promise is in Revelations 13. And it's in the second part of verse 8, but I will read all of verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. And it is so, just so amazing that God has already made a perfect plan for all of us, even before, even before the tragedy of sin that came uh, to earth. And so here we have the lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world, the Godhead, had already planned a way for all of us to become reconciled and to become one again with Abba Father in Yeshua HaMashiach. And this, I believe, is the longing of every soul on earth, whether they know it or not. And I would like to uh, take this time uh, in this, uh, in this uh, session uh, to be able to, to declare to all of Israel and Ishmael and the nations and to, for God to impart his divine resurrection life, to breathe his resurrection life into Israel, his covenant people who are so longing to be one with him, to know the reality of Abba Father. And also for Ishmael, the brother of Israel, and for they too are so longing, so, so desperate as the rest of the nations who don't know Yeshua HaMashiach as not only Lord, but as Savior of the world. And so, if we could take this time, I would love for us in faith, here in, from Biglerville and, and friends all over the world, believers in Yeshua HaMashiach, if we together can release our faith because I believe that right now, this, this time that we are in, the year 2013, and according, I heard from two speakers, this year represents in the Hebrew calendar the year 5773. As a matter of fact, one of the guest speakers here recently at Jesus is Lord, uh, Dr. Bruce Allen, who was just here on on January 21st of this year on Inauguration Day. And he had shared at a, at a previous uh, time while he was in this region, uh, sharing that the year 5773 means, the five meaning the number grace or gracious, benevolent redeemer. And I believe that God so wants to pour out his love to each soul on earth like never before to know the reality, his tangible embrace, his tangible love. And so if we could do that at this time, uh, that would be, I believe, um, That will uh, bring joy to uh, Father God. That that would bring great joy to Yeshua HaMashiach and the Ruach HaKodesh 
and Ruach HaKodesh meaning uh, that's Hebrew for the holy breath of God, the resurrection breath of God. And so Father God, Abba, Daddy God, your heart's desire is that each soul on planet Earth will know of your love right now. And Lord, we're asking, and Lord, we release your blood covering and your glory covering upon all the peoples in this world. And Lord, through our great faith together, Lord, we ask, because it is your heart's desire to meet every need of every soul of every spirit every person every body on earth even as we declare this from your heart right now here in Pennsylvania Lord we ask that you will just meet every need and that because you have already brought forth your healing and your shalom, we thank you, Father God, and that you have brought forth your healing and deliverance Lord, in Yeshua HaMashiach. And Lord, we want to declare to all the families of the earth your prophecy of HaMashiach, Yeshua, as you prophesied in Isaiah 53. And Lord, we speak this word right now into every soul. Lord, awaken every heart to the reality of your love. And who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, that when we shall see him there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows acquainted with grief, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs, and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, and bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement for our peace. And in Hebrew, that means shalom was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He brought, pardon, he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shears is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death 
because he had done no violence, neither was there any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, that he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the travail of his soul and be satisfied and by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Thank you, Yeshua. We thank you, Yeshua, that the chastisement, the punishment for our shalom was upon you. That the punishment that you took for our deliverance, our healing, in soul and spirit and body and all things that concern us, our families, our destinies. Lord, our prosperity for your glory. All that we need and it is you HaMashiach Yeshua that we need. And so, Lord, we ask, Lord, by the power of your precious blood, by the power of your precious blood, Lord, that you release, even now, your supernatural touch and healing into every mind, every will, every emotion, every heart and spirit. Yes, Lord, that you will bring forth, Lord, and manifest your love. Lord, that you will demonstrate your love, your healing power even now, and touch every soul on earth. Lord, that you will awaken every soul. Yes, Lord. Yeshua HaMashiach. The Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. And you have already declared our victory. And not only did you declare it upon the cross in Calvary 2,000 years ago, but even before the foundation of the world that you declared in Hebrew is Tam Venishlam, finished, finished. And so, Lord, we already have the precious victory and that we only need to believe and to rest in what you have already accomplished. And so, Lord, we just want to thank you. We thank you. We thank you that you will establish 
and manifest, yes, your victorious work. Lord, and we just want to declare this too, Lord, for the world leaders, especially at this time in history, a very critical time in the history of planet Earth, the history of eternity. Lord, we ask that you touch with your love, your presence, your glory presence, even now, dwell and rest your presence, Lord, in the U.S. government, the world leaders, the Israeli leaders, Bibi Netanyahu, the Israeli government, Lord, and we also especially pray for the world leaders in the Middle East, Ahmadinejad, the Iranian government, the Middle East government, and the leaders. Lord, they and the world leaders throughout the world, throughout the nations, Lord, for their hearts right now, Lord, are crying out for you. Lord, we ask that you divinely visit the world leaders, for they have great impact upon their people. And Lord, at the same time, we ask that you visit, Lord, each soul of each nation. And Lord, even in the most terrible of injustices that is even taking place even now. Lord, we ask that your power, your love, your glory, your presence will set the captives free. Lord, especially your children, your babies, Lord, and all women and all men, Father God, because your love is an eternal love for us, Lord. And Lord, we know it is your heart's cry to touch each soul. And Lord, we speak this word of Tom Ben Islam, Lord. Finished, finished, Yeshua declares to you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you that there will just be an amazing testimony of your love, Lord, to to resound throughout the earth even now. And Lord, we thank you that what you shared and through Dr. Bruce Allen, who was here on January 21st and 22nd, Lord, he shared that you at this time have poured out all of your your glory presence throughout the earth, even now, Lord. And one drop of your glory liquid that represented what you did in Azusa Street in 1906, where you poured out your glory to bring healing and shalom and your love. Lord, you have just poured it all out. And so we're just claiming it right now. Yes, Lord, that you will just, in your, in your love, yes, Lord, just, just bring your healing. Yes, Lord, your love and your joy and your freedom, your shalom. 
And yes, Lord, and that we're asking as well that you will speak into each heart of your rest. And I would like to share in Hebrews 4. The great promise of Yeshua's rest. How awesome is that, that we don't have to work anything up, okay? <laughs> Isn't that great? That we don't have to expend our human energy and capacity in order to enter into God's rest. And this is what our beloved Yeshua declares to us the word of God made flesh. In Hebrews 4, let us therefore fear less a promise being left us of entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said. As I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, and there we have the second confirming word of Yeshua's finished work from the foundation of the world. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth, that some must enter therein. And they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. Again he limiteth a certain day, saying in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. For if, Jesus, if Yeshua had given them rest, then he would not afterward have spoken of another day. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. So this is what we are to strive to enter into, to labor, to enter into that rest, the rest of the finished work of Yeshua HaMashiach in his perfect and holy blood poured out that we are reconciled to Abba Father. And at this time, I would also like to declare the promise of Hebrews 12, 24. And to Yeshua, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things 
than that of Abel. Thank you, Yeshua HaMashiach. And also in Genesis 4, Verses 10 to 16. And actually, just let me fin focus on verse 10. And he said, what hast thou done? Oh, pardon, let me uh, look in verse 8 give you context. And Cain talked with Abel his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And as we saw in the promise of God in Hebrews 12, that the blood of sprinkling of the new covenant in Yeshua, Hamashiach, speaketh better things than that of Abel. So the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach right now not only cries out from Jerusalem where he poured out his holy blood on Calvary 2,000 years ago, but his holy blood speaks out and cries out from the holy of holies in the heavenly places, in the heavenly throne room of God, his mercy seat that cries out forgiveness, reconciliation, shalom, healing, deliverance, wholeness, and oneness again with Abba Father, Daddy God. For Abba has longed for his children to come back into his heart, into his very presence. And so, friends, for those who are hearing, yes, not only, not only through your ears, but in your heart and in your spirit, that God is longing to dwell in you once again, that God is longing to, to make his home in you, to be to be your first love. And that, I believe, is the cry of every soul on earth, to return to our first love. And Yeshua HaMashiach, we just want to thank you that you made it possible for all of us to return back to Abba Father. And all we have to do, and everyone out there, all you have to do is say, yes, I rest. I choose to rest in your love, Yeshua. I choose to rest in your holy blood that declares victory and joy and the love of Abba Father. And all you have to do is say, yes, I receive it, even right now. However you want to speak to Abba Father and say, Yeshua, thank you for making it possible for me through all of your 
your sacrifice, the horror of your your crucifixion, the horror of your separation from Abba, Father God, that you endured all for the joy set before you according to Hebrews 8, I believe. And Lord, and we say thank you, Yeshua, we receive your love, we accept, and thank you now for forgiving us of all of our sin and all of our unrighteousness, all of our wickedness that has separated us from Abba Father. And we receive your cleansing power, Yeshua HaMashiach, of your perfect and holy blood. And we welcome you to dwell in us, Yeshua, the fullness of the Godhead, we welcome you to make your home in us. And you are the one that we have been longing for. The answer for all that we want and need in life is found in you. And we thank you that you have such a great adventure. You are a God of great adventure and so Lord we just want to thank you right now Yeshua HaMashiach that you will show your people Israel and Ishmael and the nations <laughs> and every soul out there that you are a God of, of great adventure and joy and fun and you are just so extravagant in your love and Lord let let everyone out there know Lord Lord that you have a great destiny and purpose and Lord and that is that when we are so filled with you the God of Israel and that is why we are to bless the people the covenant people the covenant nation of Israel is because through Israel that we have the promise of Mashiach Yeshua who has been <laughs> manifest and revealed yes in Yeshua HaMashiach he has come and Lord we just want to thank you now and we want to declare your shofar blast your victory shofar blast for the whole world at this time and I want to declare thank you thank you so much and I just want to declare the Shema uh, the Hebrew Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Le'olam Vayet Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Blessed is He through all eternity. Mm-hmm. 